starting on freshly washed hair this is my texture after my hair has been dried off just a little bit so my hair is semi wet semi dry and then my hair is sectioned off into four sections and I'm using a wide tooth comb to detangle. So that's just to show you guys one section that I've already worked with. And this is also to show you guys what my hair looks like after it's been detangled and it's just sectioned off. So to show you guys the contrast between my shrinkage. Next, taking a rat tail comb, I'm just gonna go ahead and section off the first piece that we're gonna be working with. I'm using the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I'm just gonna work this through the section that I've already created. And next I'm following up with the Shea Moisture Coconut Oil. I'm going to use about the same size amount and I'm going to go ahead and work that through again. You really want to make sure that you coat the whole section because this is a protective style. And then I'm just going to twist, use one finger as a base and then use the other finger to twist. So you're going to see here in a second, I'm going to use the finger that's closest to my root um, to form a loop and then I'm just going to twist around that finger and this helps to avoid creating too much tension and stress on your scalp um, so that you don't pull out your hair and you're just going to keep twisting and wrapping it's a continual process you use one finger to twist and wrap and then the other finger is a base and when you feel comfortable remove that finger and then you can tuck your ends once you're done and then once you're done you will secure the section with a bobby pin and then just go ahead and repeat the same process all over your head so now i'm securing with the bobby pin and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process all over my head and it does become easier. So like I said, I'm twisting here and then I'm going to use one finger as a guide um, and then I'm going to twist and wrap and then once I'm done, I'm gonna tuck and secure with a bobby pin again. So you just wanna make sure that your hair is really moisturized as a protective style. You can wear this for about a week, um, but you just wanna make sure that your hair is nourished and hydrated. And don't worry if you have excess product, as you can see, I'm just wiping it onto another section of hair that I haven't worked with already. And I like to do my Bantu knots about this size because it helps them to dry faster. Um, whenever I do my Bantu knots this size, then they usually dry overnight. So at this point I've gotten to the last section of hair and that section was completely dry so I just took a bottle of water and then I wet the hair again and then I went ahead tangled and I'm repeating the same process again. So just twist and then use the other finger as a guide so that you're not putting too much tension. Wrap around your finger and then you're just going to follow up with a bobby pin and repeat the same process all throughout your head. And for this particular style, I did not take it down, but I can show you guys a picture on Instagram or I can even refilm this on stretched out hair, blow dried hair and show you guys what it looks like once it's taken down from start to finish. If you guys do want to see that, then definitely comment down below. But I'm down to the last section. My camera battery did die, but this is just to show you guys the finished results. This is what my hair looks like. Um, it's a good protective style. Just wear your hair like this. And then you can also take your hair down and wear your hair out for like two or three days as humidity will permit. And this is just to show you guys the back of my hair so that you guys can see. Um, it is kind of uniform. I just did it however, and that's really about it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. You're my remedy. You're my